Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Deck Delusion. So we've got another fan submitted deck today, and this is an interesting one, which I quite like. Don't know how interesting you guys will find it, but I personally like the look of this, for reasons that I'll get into. This one was submitted by Demon Soul. It's just one deck for one person, so I've built out the rest of the team with different stuff. And it uh, it is as thus. Let me bring up this and then show you what's going on. Read what they've said as well. One of my favorite Urban Nightmare decks only uses the first tier of Urban Nightmare. Attributed to Yujin is Liquefied Flesh and your Shield for the additional plus two to defensive die using all eight points of attribution you have in Urban Nightmare. Fleet footsteps can fall off during late UN, in which case just get another Overcome Crisis or other Econ page. It still works well in SOTC Tier 1, Star of the City, and with the extra two attribution you take keeping in stride and some other one cost passives like Calmness, Double Kick, Deep Breaths, or Electric Shock. I will always promote Tank Yujin as the best build of Yujin until Star of the City uh, Tier 2 or later. By the way, and then they mentioned something I didn't know about Dante seeing through weakness. Very good. But yes, I like the look of this because I remember during this point in the game, I just couldn't get defensive builds to work. I was trying because I really like defensive builds, but they just weren't happening, like, ever, which was frustrating. Uh, now, this is because I wasn't very good at the game back then and didn't know how to build things. So being able to come back to this point and actually see decks built to this specification that I enjoyed back then, this is not why they used this deck or why they suggested it, they just like this build for Eugen. But to see this is very cool and it does interest me. Now, if I had to look at this before we begin, you know, so this is a preliminary examination as it were. So we've got two Overcome Crises, Fleet Footsteps, two Combat Preparations, three Faint Memories, and an automated Movement. And then obviously the passives are liquefied flesh in your shield. So Eugene as standard starts with 75% less HP and overcome crisis if HP is at 25% or lower, restore one light. So my initial concern upon looking at it was uh, like light economy issues, but I guess that's not really gonna be a problem. And as they've said, later on, if not immediately, it might be a good idea to just replace fleet footsteps with overcome crisis but that does allow you to recover health if things haven't been going well so that's actually quite valuable i like the look of it i'm curious to see how it works the only problem i have with fleet footsteps is that unless you're one-sided attacking someone you're likely to take damage on the first hit which means the amount this actually recovers is fairly minimal and if either of those fail then you have definitely you're definitely running at a deficit which is not great but like they said fleet footsteps falls off they probably put it in because they like it more than it's 100 percent super practical value but hey we haven't played with it yet so we'll leave any proper statements for when i've actually tested it out but i also made a team to go along with this and these are all of my own creation because they said if i remember correctly Come to original message. Fits with any other Urban Nightmare team. Just throw it on whatever floor you want to use and have it shine. So we are going to go with the floor of General Works. Not because I think it'll be the best one, because I can already think of other floors that would be better to use. But A, General Works just doesn't get a lot of play ever in general. Which I actually felt that, like, considering that General Works is probably not one of the stronger floors at this time, it might actually be a more interesting test that really focuses more on the decks themselves rather than the other stuff coming into play. I won't use Ego Pages for this because you don't unlock General Works' Ego Pages until the end of the game, so I won't use them. For better or worse, I will accept losing. I have real problems not using the tools at my disposal to win when I have them, but I will remember it this time. And in terms of, like, the Abnormality Pages, for instance... I can't remember what you've unlocked by Star of the si um, Urban Nightmare. I'm almost certain you don't have Snow Queen by this point. Almost certain. Almost certain. Not 100% certain. So we'll go with Bloodbath, Heart of Aspiration, Pinocchio. These are the ones we'll use. And no Ego Pages. But yes, I've given everyone else decks as well. We're obviously not going to be using Roland in these battles. Obviously. For obvious fucking reasons. But I set up Lorelei with a, a defensive buffing page, basically. Walter's page is standard because I actually got confused with um, Urban Nightmare. I thought it was this one for some reason. It's actually this, so you actually have a lot to play with. But still, I set them up with Walter's page with uh, two Overcome Crises, two Puppet Blockades, three Combat Preparations, an Automated Movement, and a Repressed Flesh. And the passive attributions are, of course, your shield as standard from Walter's page, Mind Hauler, Liquefied Flesh, and Health Hauler. So they'll be buffing everyone's defense. I, does it include their own as well? 
I don't remember, but um, Nugent also has the ability to do that, so she will gain buffs too. And when she wins those defensive clashes because her stats are so high, she will heal from it. So we'll see how that works out. Honestly, I think it could be attributed to a better key page, but we'll see what happens. As for Lane, I gave them Emma's page and decided to actually go for a proper blunt build this time. Like, I don't know if it is actually proper, but I've attempted a proper blunt build for this stage of the game, which is obviously entirely based around the puppets because, man, those cards are good. Uh, overcome Crisis, two puppet blockades, two creeks, three automated movements, and repressed flesh. And the passive attributions, alongside what Emma already has, which is speed, high-level acrobatics, and lion's fist, are puppet skeleton, keeping in stride, punch to the solar plexus, and deep breaths. Probably gonna hit quite hard. This would be fantastic for the floor of technological sciences, but we're not there, so it's moot. And then finally, for Asterickly, I wanted to, once again, attempt a, um... A singular strike build. So for these other characters, not, you know, not the Eugene one, but these other three, I have tried to stick to what Demon Soul has done in the sense of using the first tier of Urban Nightmare, because that seems like the fairest test. It would be hard to test this if these guys were all rocking endgame or even end of um, Urban Nightmare like material. We, I kind of want to keep everyone on equal footing so we can see how the Eugen deck compares to them and also make sure the team fights at the level in which the deck was created in mind, you know? So that's why I'm doing that, and that's why some of these are quite inefficient. Like this one. Two Overcome Crises, two Draws of the Sword, three Extreme Edges, and two Fierce Charges. Singular Strike. Mind Hauler, Health Hauler, and Dark Cloud Blade for the extra power on top of Singular Strike and to make sure that when he does hit, he's actually healing himself, as that is ty typically the biggest weakness of Singular Strike builds around this time and in general, at least until you get Burning Flash. So, I have multiple stages by which to test this deck. And I'm quite looking forward to it, actually, because this is the kind of deck I would enjoy playing. But, um, they mention it still works well in Star of the City Tier 1, which is quite a claim, but I don't think it's an unrealistic one. We're going to start this off pretty chill. We're not going to go too crazy too fast, but we'll start with Love Town. So, I may have made a slight mistake. You see, I chose Love Town because in my mind at the time, I thought Love Town was at the end of Urban Nightmare because I don't know why, but the layout of the invitation screen confuses me a little bit when it comes to which events are in which tier. But Love Town is not late Urban Nightmare. Love Town is late Urban Plague, which is a tier below what this deck was made from. Nevertheless, I mean, I was still happy to fight Love Town again, and it's a pretty decent fight, so I've decided to leave it in the video, but if some of you are going wait, sat there right now thinking, wait, why are you testing an Urban Nightmare deck on an Urban Plague reception? That's why. I do figure it out by the end of the video. In fact, at the end of the fight. But, yeah, that was not a proud moment. Because they're quite tough. This is quite a tough fight. There's a lot going on here. And I like picking um, battles which have multiple floors available because it lets us really test how good our deck is, right? If this is supposed to be designed with two floors in mind and we beat it with one floor, that's a good representation of how strong the deck is. And if they fail, we can uh, we can like uh, analyze it accordingly, you know? If it nearly, nearly beat Tameri and just kind of only just lost, that's still pretty fucking good. Also, I kind of missed this boss fight. It's really cool. It's a really cool boss fight, so I'm looking forward to doing it again. Roland, fuck off, mate. We don't want you here. Get your black silence shit out of here. So these guys don't even have passives. Christ, I forgot about that. Add plus 10 to power if the attack is one-sided. On Clash Loose, add power to next die. These guys are interesting. I would have liked to have seen more of these cards, to be honest, but I imagine they're pretty fucking broke. They'd be pretty broken in the player's hands, right? Because you could really fuck around with this. That would be broken endgame if the player could use it. Because it's not hard to set up a team wherein you can make sure someone is not being contested, you know? <laughs> Especially boss- oh my god, sharp pummelin would annihilate boss encounters. That would ruin them. Because there are usually one-sided attacks in boss encounters when it's just one person. But yeah, that's not really what we're here for. I haven't forgotten everything. Everyone's at passive attribution cost 8 because that's what we have access to at this time. Thank you, Demon Soul, for mentioning that because that is fucking useful information that allows me to make sure I'm testing your decks fairly. Let's give it a go. 
Ah, uh, general works. It's been a while. <laughs> God, I forgot how fucked these guys are. Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot that Eugen's page technically has three speed die, but not really. And does have a defensive die, which is not a counter die, but it's a die presented as a counter, but it's not a counter die, which is very important to remember. Yeah, this first phase is going to be a fucking joke. I'm not remotely concerned. So just remind myself, yeah, I am gaining power and stuff. It's mostly defensive, but we do still gain some offensive power. It would probably be better to contest with that. That's actually all I can do because my light is so low at this stage. You're using sharp pommelin. Ah, oh, you guys are off to a bad start. I want you to get that going because that'll be useful. And then... Fuck it, actually. Contest with that because it's more likely to win, I think. Well, actually, we'd, I'd rather you contested... Oh, it doesn't make it... It actually doesn't matter that much, really. It really kind of doesn't. You guys are fucked because all your attacks use one die and uh, Asterikli's kind of specced for this, so... Draw the sword. Well, actually, you don't even need to draw the sword, do you? Overcome crisis. Fierce charge. Sorted. Done and done. And we'll focus one of them down, as is our typical way of doing things. Go for it, lads. Let's see how this goes. Solid. Ideal. I don't think we expected anything else there. Eh, that's about right. Then again, that is a defensive build, but it's doing what it needs to do, which is buffing everyone else's defenses. These guys might die very quickly. Because they literally have nothing going for them, actually. I'm surprised I ever struggled with this, because this is a joke. Did I ever struggle with this? I struggled with Temeri, I think. But these guys? Worthless. This literally exists to make you stronger for the boss fight. Honestly, it'd be better to make sure combat preparation is a one-sided attack, because actually using it as a contesting card is pretty pointless. Just creak them. Fuck it, fierce charge them. Stream edge them. You obliterate them, I guess. And then follow up with, uh... Overcome Crisis, and then you can do whatever the hell you want, and you will. Do that again, because it's good, and then follow up with uh, Overcome Crisis. Make sure you keep drawing cards, and that guy will die very soon. You can't do anything else, that's fine. You're a fucking joke. Get out of here. So as I've mentioned multiple times, I'm going into this fight not really expecting, like... Adversity. Oh, you were actually using a multi hit attack. I didn't even look. Wow, maybe I should have. Oh, uh, maybe. We'll go Pale Hands. And we'll give it to Lane. Nah, we'll give it to the build. We'll give it to the build, see what we can turn it into. Right. So, Sharp Ram, Heavy Pomlin, Heavy Pomlin. Okay, so Sharp Ram is easily dealt with with a little bit of automated movement. We'll throw a couple attacks at them to make sure they die. Draw the sword. Sword. That's that's the pommelin. It's a joke. Heavy pommelin. This is also a joke. That's the joke. On closer inspection. These are loafers. I said I wouldn't do that, and I did. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't fucking reference that, because it's not funny to anyone but me. And I did. Yeah, I did do that. And I did. Fuck it. Keep doing your job. Your job's good, keep doing it. Yikes, your defensive attacks aren't very good, even with the bonuses. Big hit, staggered, fucked, ruined. Dead. They got me. No chance. Oh wow, you actually landed a hit, that's impressive. One and done. You're done. I guess that's technically good for this. allows you to have more HP. You're fucks. I don't know why you're even trying. You're fucking done. You're absolutely fucking done. Yep, and this is done. Like we said, this is not the, uh, this is not where things are going to be difficult. The difficulty should theoretically come now.
I'm looking forward to this. Actually, I haven't done this boss fight in fucking ages. Tameri, 300 HP. Shimmering, of course. Power of love upon winning an act. Revive dead townspeople with 50% HP. If HP goes down to 50% or lower, the Tommy part of her dies and she freaks the fuck out, which is concerning. So. Would a square look nice? Gain five strength next scene. Charge up for a strong attack next scene. Take extra stagger damage while preparing. That's a very fucking good one. Jesus Christ, yeah. Um, let's play. Uh, Love Town welcomes all. Don't let her hit with that. Ruckus is standard. Faint Memories, we know what that is. And Wrath of Torment, which is also interesting. And then the rest of these guys are standard. All right, well, we got it then. Fuck. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fine. Fine. Seems like I can easily dodge your attacks, hmm? Alright, fine. I fucked up. But here's how I'm gonna make up for it. Roland isn't gonna do anything. Roland's literally gonna stand there. Now, he's still helping, unfortunately, because he's, you know, people are attacking him. But does he still have what I gave him? No, he's, I cleared out his passive attributions, okay. I fucked up, but to make up for it, he will do nothing. I actually won't let him do a fucking thing. God, this song is fucked up. Uh. Alright, well you go straight for the big one, like you do. Absolutely bang him out, lad. Give combat preparation a try there. You definitely need to start getting um, combat preparation going, that is going to be important. But I'd say automated movement there, and then a combat preparation in the side. Just get that stuff going. And then, what, there's two attacks left? There's rock. Mm. Combat preparation will be fine there. Use um, automated movement on that. It's contested. Because Lane wouldn't do a very good job contesting it because he only does one attack. Oh, no, no, no. You're not the singular strike person. You're the you're the blunt person. Okay, Lane's going to do great then. Fuck it. But we shouldn't play it too hard. Make sure you've got cards to play with. Roland, you're going to stand there and look pretty. You don't even have counter dice, so it's fine. I took a hit back, but it's fine. Nice. Not nice, but it's fine. That went very well. That went very well. So, to be fair, I'm actually testing the deck even more than I thought I was gonna by, um... <laughs> removing a character. <laughs> I'm not a smart boy, I never claimed to be. Love Town welcomes all. That needs to be beaten straight up. And I'm pretty sure Lane can do that with Creek. Unless... Ah, I see the issue there, yeah. Nah, that's a repressed flesh job. No fucking around. Make sure. Make sure. Straight up, make sure. Let's play. Yeah, we've done this before. You know, Fleet Footsteps might actually be a good idea, because the first attack... Well, if he dodges the first attack, that's actually not going to work. Hmm. Lorelei heals, so Lorelei can deal with that with repressed flesh. Yeah, I've been so afraid. So afraid. Add six power to next eye on Clash Lose. Yeah, that's an issue. Go combat prep on that, because if you lose the first eye, it'd be fine. Fleet footsteps, that. Overcome crisis, that. And then save all made movement, because you might need cards later. I know it's the one that gains haste, but it's a card to play in a situation where we might well need it. Especially if Tameri starts charging up their big one. Which they will, at some point. They will. They will. Go for it. That went well. That didn't. See, Lorelai's fine. She's got both haulers. She's doing okay. Oh my god, that was actually really good, Lorelai. Well done. Fucking brilliant. Fucking exceptional. I don't think we've got much to worry about. I haven't even played it very well, and it's still fine. So we can't use Hammer and Nail, and we can't use Sword of Frost. So, learning, I guess. Give it to me, I guess. 
I wish I could just skip this, but it doesn't matter. We just won't use it. It's not hard to mimic covers. I don't have to think. I like not thinking. All right, Samaria, I'll play your game. We'll just do that. Yeah, see how that goes. Uh, pointed pommelin. Pointed pommelin. Pommelin point. We stay together. Inside the train, we walk down the aisle. Um, hmm, hmm. It doesn't really matter. We're pretty much set here. Unfortunately, we don't have any um, overcome crisis, not overcome crisis, uh, combat preparation going at the moment, so we're not going to get those defensive buffs next turn, which sucks, but oh well. Ah, oh, well. You should be our main clasher, to be honest. You're very good at it. They're all using the same attack, so freak them. Automated movement them. Where's that going? That's going to Roland, so we should probably intercept it. We should attempt to intercept anything going to Roland, because otherwise we would be unfairly using Roland as, like, an attack sponge. Which is still kind of a dick move, in terms of trying to test this. So Ruckus. I think Faint Memories can take care of that. Um... Point Pomlin, Point Pomlin, Point Pomlin, Point Pomlin. That'll do it. And then... Which one of these is about to die? They're all actually doing pretty well at the moment. That's because there is most of them are resistant to Slash. You're not, so Overcome Crisis on you. You don't need to use another Puppet Blockade, so save it. I should use Overcome Crisis. Actually, I gain more power on attacks, so I should probably go for that. Okay! I'm learning! I'm learning! I'm learning! I'm learning. I learned real good. You like my learning? Yeah? You like it when I kick your ass? Oh. <laughs> good. Very good. God, this brings back memories, let me tell you. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, getting hit by attacks that shouldn't win? Yeah, that brings back memories. I keep looking at my health and being like, oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't think... No, the thing didn't happen yet. They're both still alive. Yeah, I think Tamari's just preparing for their big one. Would a square look nice? Yeah, that's right. You're gaining haste. That's quite nice. Faint memories. Lock it down. They're all staggered, so they should all die really easily. I love how Dern Your Armor just says if HP goes down to 50% or lower and does not fucking explain anything. So ominous. <laughs> Now, I don't think we're going to need to do much to uh, stagger to Mary, to be honest. So throw a combat preparation out, and then... Actually, that's all you should do this turn. Combat preparation on them. Throw an Overcome Crisis at to Mary to make sure they stagger. And then pop a blockade down there. We'll see if we can wipe these guys out, because that'd be very helpful. See what we can do. See what we can do. Make it happen. Oh yeah. Oh, you're fucked. Won't do it again. You certainly won't, because you're fucking dead. You're already staggered. Oh, these guys are fucked. I think they're... Oh, nope, they're dead. Fuck them. What will towns people are love? You're losers. Get out of here. Well, we didn't kill all of them, but we killed most of them. Blood. That's exactly what we need for this build. Marionette. And uh, Tommy's head fucking exploded. Let's get a closer look at that. And Mary's quite upset. Yeah, that's fucking grotesque. Uh, that's awful. That's fucking. It's awful and grotesque in equal measure. It's just very upsetting in general. I'm laughing because I want to make a joke. Or oh, not. Not that I have a joke and I want to make it, but I want to be humorous about the situation and I have nothing humorous to say. It's just fucking sad. <laughs> Use that to give them some trouble, and then... We'll go in on Tamari a bit. Ideally, we'd have them dead this turn. But we don't actually have a lot of cards, so economy is a bit of an issue with these. You don't have a lot of economy options in uh, Urban Nightmare Curse. I mean, you have some, and I could probably make use of them. But not that many. 
I should hold on to my cards just in case. Big hit. What a loser. Kicking his ass. We did a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, it's pretty grim. It's pretty grim. Whip of Love. Oh, that's a bad one. Ooh. And Wrath of Torment. Yeah, that's a pretty bad one and all. Okay. And I don't really have the stuff I... Uh, well. Oh, well. Uh, hmm. Best thing we can do is attempt to learn Whip of Love and see what we can do with that. Um, we have to protect Roland, otherwise it's not fair. You're gaining... Ah, oh, you can't combat preparation that. Try Repressed Flesh, that'll probably do the trick. You're doing Poya Pomlin. Combat preparation that. We're definitely running out of cards and that's something of an issue. This helps. And you've got Creek. Lean in on um, to Mary and see if you can take him out. Yeah. I won! Get fucked, idiot! You're doomed now. Ow. It's fine. Damn, damn. That does become quite powerful. It's worth noting, of course, that um, they are getting um, strength bonuses and enduring bonuses as well, actually. Whip of love again. <laughs> Okay. If Roland could end the fight right now, and he's like, nah, you guys got it, it's fine. Nah, that's cool. Nah, you got it. It's all good. Faint memories would be interesting, because I think Tamaris would actually be stronger. What have you got? Freak. I mean, you'd take the hit, and you'd just sort of give it back, and probably kill them, yeah. That'll just do it. That will just do it. But we should contest every attack just in case. I don't like to um, be, uh, be too cocky. I like to make sure the enemy actually dies. You know? I like to make sure. You're dealt with. And, um, yeah, bad hit. But you just died of bleed, so I guess it's over. Yeah, well, I don't think anyone's particularly surprised about that one, but Love Town... Is Love Town the hardest encounter in Urban Nightmare? I'm not so sure. Point is spit. Why did you get combat... Well, you didn't do anything. Whatever, whatever, it's fine. Point is... Not sure if I necessarily call that the hardest Urban Nightmare thing. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. That wasn't Urban Nightmare, that was Urban Plague. Oh, why did I do No wonder it was easy. It's a whole fucking tier down. This one's supposed to compete in higher levels of the tier it's made for- Oh my god. Oh well. Hey, we got to play with Tamari. That's cool. We tested it out. For fuck's sake, Foreman. Really. This is where we want it to be. I get confused with where these are placed as to what it means. <laughs> ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. We can confirm that this fucking deck that is made after you fight Love Town can beat Love Town, yeah? There's some good consumer advice. Fuck me. Let's be real. The crying children would be an appropriate test, wouldn't it? Because that's probably the hardest thing in Urban, Ni in Urban Nightmare, and it actually is Urban Nightmare. See, it could, uh, you know, you know why this confuses me, and you know that it's still stupid. I don't need to justify myself. You guys get it. I'm an idiot. I know. I know. I know. I'm wondering if I could perhaps... I'm not going to change the Eugen build, because this is fine the way it is. Although I think I will get rid of Fleet Footsteps and replace it with um, Overcome Crisis, because it's cool and it has its use, but I just don't see it being particularly useful. These guys can maybe do with a little bit more economy. I think instead of automated movement, you could do with something that... Cards was really what we were running out of towards the end there, so another Overcome Crisis for you. You get rid of an automated movement and get another Overcome Crisis. In fact, get rid of two automated and get more Overcome Crisis. So you just need more cards. And uh, Ash Rickley's deck didn't even really get to be displayed much. We'll get rid of an Extreme Edge and out of Overcome Crisis. There we go. More cards. 
All right, now let's actually do a test that is actually relevant, shall we? Fuck's sake. All right. Roland, get out of here. So this is even more of a test, actually, because you're supposed to have five people for this fight, and we're going to go in with four. So, yeah, this will be a proper test, and also a really long fight, so get comfortable. So, yeah, Unhearing Child is the first one that needs to be staggered. Should be able to do that. Stream Edge. Overcome Crisis. Uh, Lorelei just drew Overcome Crises, so I guess she's doing that. Overcome Crisis. By the time all of these get through, we should be staggered. We'll do a combat preparation, because that will be useful. That wasn't a lot. It's fine, it's fine. I, I do kind of worry, actually, because I fear we're just not really going to be hitting hard enough to get stuff done, in many cases. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. So someone else is now immobilized, it's Lorelei. Random becomes immobilized, cannot see a portion. That is the least important one, because you can just... The, you basically get all the information you need from these. So, you need to be staggered next. Faint memories. Overcome crisis. You should contest that attack. It would be good to just not get hit by it. Although, uh, you actually can't. We don't have enough speed because we've suffered some bound effects. Which is annoying. Set defensive die, lose power for the scene. I see. Alright, use fist charge. Hit him good. Hit him good! Get more cards, because you may as well. Get more speed, because apparently that's at a deficit right now. Go for it, should be fine. Ah, we forgot to hit the staggered one, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We're more focusing on trying to get rid of their effects right now. There we go. Get wrecked, kid. You're a loser. Staggered. Kablams. Obviously, this phase doesn't fucking matter, but, you know. Alright, this is a long fight. Huge build's probably gonna need some health. You, that's all you've got, which is funny. It's very funny. Faint memories dealt with. Throw out a combat preparation, and then throw out an overcome crisis, and you... Well, you're not buffing the pie, so you don't go worry about too much. Just focus on killing these guys who can't fight back. Good. Simplicity itself. This this video will be super copyrighted because I've put two boss tracks into it like an idiot. I didn't mean to. I misunderstood the fucking invitation screen because I'm an idiot. I know this to be true. All it means is you guys get a longer video. So... Really, everyone wins. It's fine. It's fine. Don't waste any of your good shit yet. You're gonna want it for the big fight. Oh my god, they survived. Kinda didn't expect them to. There we go, they're fucked. Yeah, they're bo they'll both die this turn. Sure enough. There we go. One is done. And here it comes. The cool moment. Turn a blind eye to all that tries to hurt me. I know we did this recently, but it's still fucking cool. Bygone illusion. Reduce power of target's current die by one. So that's an anti... Um... Evade die card. But... With the bonuses we get, I'm curious to see if that'll work anyway. That's kind of the perfect test for it, actually. And that. Yeah, you use a lot of attacks that are perfect for using evade die against. It's interesting. So using Distorted Illusion, Creek should be able to take care of it. And then the rest of you just hit him in the sides. Combat preparation for days. Are you getting... You are getting some counter die, so it's not... It's not exactly open season, but, you know, we can make it work. Keep getting cards. Keep getting cards. Are you resistant to burn? No. Then I'm going to burn you. I'm going to burn you. Overcome Crisis. Go for it. Good. Good. Exceptional. Absolutely playing him off for laughs. What an idiot. 
Look at Pillet flailing around like an idiot. It's hilarious. Can't stop us. Well, I appreciate this is still very early in the fight, but the deck is certainly living up to the classification of dealing with late uh, Urban Nightmare. I'm just curious as to how far we can actually take it. Definitely Pale Hands. Uh, and learning, I suppose. And it uh, doesn't matter, we're not using it. So you're going back in it with the illusions again. Unfortunately, I used up all of my, um, all of my really good defensive attacks, so I can't do that anymore. Downer. Lane, it might be your turn to step up. There's only so much you can do, because you only have two speed die, but... Hey, I believe in you. You're gaining some enduring, so Creek will do the trick. And automated... You can't use automated movement, okay. So automated movement might be a better choice. Creek would be better to deal with Bygone Illusion because of the reducing power of current die. Then again, that reduced power target uh, of current die by one doesn't stack, so I think Evade actually still works quite well. At least I don't think it stacks. I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. Lorelei, you can take hits, so repress flesh that. And I'll learn that. There we go, that works. That yeah, works. Get more cards. And do, 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 get more cards. I love getting more cards. It's my favorite. Are we using any... We should use a combat preparation this turn to get the defensive buffs going. That is actually quite important. And then uh, overcome crisis. And you just hit him really fucking hard. Just, just, just absolutely smack him. And draw some cards. Good. Good. That worked out almost perfectly. That went perfectly. Oh, he in big trouble now. Hell hands, yeah. Boy fix. Staggered. There we go. So we'll knock him down this turn. It's not a huge damage dealing build. In fact, I could probably have done, would have done with maybe making one of my other characters more damage dealing, although the singular strike and blunt builds are pretty high damage in the grand scheme of things, considering where we are. That's got plus two to blunt damage, and this just hits quite hard. But, you know. We'll throw out a combat preparation each, so we've got a lot going into the next turn, and then the rest can just be attempts to kill. Throw out Creek, and um, yeah, that's all you've got. Continue drawing cards. I will draw cards. I need more. And you use some chill shit as well because we're about to fight the little fuckers again and I swear they're actually the harder parts of the boss fight because you have to kind of react to the fact that you don't have any information anymore on what's going on and one of your squad members is um, immobilized. Dealing with this guy is actually not too bad. Although the mass attack is a bit of a pain, if I remember correctly. And Astley may struggle with that, actually. He might struggle with that quite a bit. We're back! And Astley is immobilized. That's honestly not the worst thing that could have happened. Cannot check or redirect. Cannot check or redirect. We've got two to deal with. What a fucking pain. We kind of need to focus down one to make sure it goes down. Could try splitting my attention. Okay, well, we'll do it this way. So combat preparation. Repress flesh. Absolutely lean in on them. And then... Creek. Repress flesh. Absolutely lean in on them. A faint memory's there. A faint memory's there. And a combat prep. There. Really, theoretically and realistically, they should both be staggered by the end of the turn because they're taking a lot of hits. Oh yeah, that did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. That's annoying, but whatever. That was a bit of a downer, but whatever. Combat preparation did what it needed to do. 
There's the stagger. Excellent. So now we can actually fight properly. Coward die did quite well. Everything's fine. Okay, blood. Gallons of the stuff I gave you all that you can drink and it'll never be enough. Oh, I'm a mobilizer. How annoying. <laughs> I'm kind of important, you know. I'm, I make videos on the internet. Very important, yeah. Deal with them. You don't need to deal with that. Murmur, murmur, murmur. Well, the first attack would probably fail, but the defensive die would almost certainly succeed. You can't really deal with that, and you're too slow. Eh, yeah, Rickley can deal with it. It'll be fine. Burn him. Burn them? Burn them all? So this one needs to go, because this one's immobilizing us, and that's a fucking pain. Stupid thing is, I don't think I'll regen my light properly this turn, because I'm immobilized. That's not fun. That should be fine. Oh, yeah. I love it when the screen cracks. Yes, there it is. Absolutely wrecked. Big damage for you. Minor hits in return. He doesn't give a fuck. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we're doing just fine. Uh, let's see. You're doing Murmur. Yes, it's very quaint. Very quaint. Faint memories that and all. Just contest everything. It's practically what this is built for. It's very good at it. Although it is awkward trying to use faint. Although faint memories does gain the power bonuses for low HP, so that actually works out quite well. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a bit awkward because these all start off with block die, which kind of immediately counters evade die. To a rather serious degree. Get a combat prep out because more defensive. At least one combat prep per turn, I think. Is kind of necessary. Our emotion levels are getting quite high, so we're gonna have to start considering light economy. And, and we will. So pick one, really, and just kill them. Seems the best way to go right now. Hit them. With all your econ shit. Because you don't need to use Extreme Edge right now, straight up. No need. Fuck. Well, it could have been worse. That's better. Yeah, they'll die. Or oh, soon. Actually, at the end of the turn, the burn will kill them, so that's fine. I think you could up the damage output of the Eugen build considerably if, when you gain access to more um, passive attribution, you added double kick. Because having evades just a damage, damage, damage for like every attack it inevitably dodges could be really useful. Yeah, they did mention double kick. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So they know what's up. I know what's up. We know what's up. Double kick. I love double kick. It's not the best thing in the game, but I like it. I like it a lot. Watching the enemy just take damage every single time um, you dodge one of their attacks is very satisfying, especially, I guess, if you combine it with um, keeping in stride, which is mentioned in uh, Demon Souls' um, recommendations for the build as well. Gain health, they lose health. That's just you're actively winning the battle with every dodge. Very good. Hit him with that, and then nothing else. You can't do anything else anyway. Dealing with that. Hit them with your econ shit. I'm gonna prep that and then continue with the economy. In this economy? I don't think so. You lean in on them because I'd like them to stop doing stuff. I'd also like to get on with this fight because it's quite a fucking long one. And I already did a fight I didn't even have to do. I was sat there like, why did I struggle with, uh, with, with, uh, Love Town? Like, my cards are way better. And it's like, yeah, because I'm using a tier above them. An entire fucking level above them. Even if it is tier one Urban Nightmare, it's still 
one above, you know? It's very stupid, but... hey oh, like I said, we're, we're thoroughly testing the deck. We're very thoroughly testing it. Doing lots of different fights. I'm really going to want to take this turn to just try and get my economy back and doing nothing else, because, uh, oh boy. Creak them. And then once again, everyone just use econ cards and fucking lean in. You use that because we need someone to do it. Yeah, Creek. Sword. On to the next phase. I wonder about this, actually, because this is a very long fight, and the economy of this deck is a bit lacking. It's kind of a product product of the uh, stage in which you get it, but it's still, still a thing. I mean, faint memories would absolutely take care of- Oh shit, we didn't use combat prep, or combat prep didn't hit anyone. Faint memories will probably still be fine, but that's not great. Honestly, just first turn hitting all of his mul- Oh boy. Ah, that's why we have asked here. But just hitting these immediately with um, faint memories is a great way to just eliminate Pillip's ability to really do anything. Hit that with extreme edge. I believe it applies to some next scene, yeah, so it won't help us with restrain. And restrain is a bit of an issue, actually. Evades can play off of each other. Rep repressed Flesh would be the stronger choice, but you can't actually intercept him, you're not fast enough. That could be quite painful. Maybe I have to deal with it? But can I deal with it? My attack die are not good. I don't think I can, to be honest. A Clash win and automated movement would add two power to the next die, making it five to 10, which would then be six to 11 versus uh, 8 to 12, which is not good. It's not good. So I say maybe just take this L on the chest and um, burn him instead. Just burn him. And then stack the good stuff, you know. Throw in a creek to make sure actual damage is being done, and then just focus on econ. I suppose I could learn. Mm, nah, nah, nah. No need. Go for it, lads. Oh, that attack didn't even get through. I dare say. Good, good, good. Extra stagger, you love to see it. Rough, but it's okay. Good. It all works out. Big blunt hits. Good, yeah, already half of his health gone. Can I even use any of- I'm not allowed any of these. Whoops, I'm not allowed any of them. I guess, well, Blizzard is the only one that doesn't have a carry-on effect, you know? Like... Once Blizzard's done its thing, and then once they've gone over having all their bind, it is kind of over. Well, Blizzard. Because I don't really have any other choice. And we'll let Lorelei do it so that, because Lorelei is the support character, this is kind of utilizing this to its least potential. So we're not really cheating too much. We are still kind of cheating, not intentionally, but we are. So, uh, that's unfortunate, but I'm trying to mitigate it. I thought you got counter die with that, <laughs> whatever. Oh, 
And you're doing this shit. At least it's a lot easier for us to counter your shit now. Extreme Edge versus uh, Fist Charge is better. You think you could just attack my broken count and speed die and I just would let you? No. Stupid. Dummy. No, stupid. What are you doing? Dumb bastard. So we established that repressed flesh is probably the best to deal with that. Whether or not it turns out to be the case is anyone's guess, but you know. Making do. You definitely need to do some puppet blockades because your light is getting low. Definitely overcome crisis. Should be pretty simple. There we go. Big hit. Get through all this shit. Hit him back for extra stagger, and he's gonna stagger very fucking soon. Yeah, he's fucked. This phase, taken care of. In fact, I think he'll be taken care of this turn. I'm almost certain. Pretty sure. It's starting to look that way. He's kind of dying. It's pretty funny. Keep hitting him. It's hilarious. One health. No health. So I think we have to get through these guys, and then it's the big crying, ch crying child or statue, whatever the fuck. It's the big phase. That's when it goes down. Wing stroke. Yeah, their attacks start getting more problematic now. And you're the one who stops us from redirecting. Oh, guy. Just go in on him, really. We don't have a lot we can do other than to just quite literally go in on him. And then once we've opened up the playing field and allowed ourselves to actually see what's going on, instead of that, use your combat prep. And I'll faint memory sim because it'll do a lot of damage. And then two overcome crises to get my stuff back. And you just hit the fuck out of him. Just do it. Stream edge. And draw the sword. And we do this until we can actually fight the fight properly. At least we stopped him from attacking. That's something. That is, that is pretty good. That was quite good. That's very annoying. I wish you would stop. I hate your stupid little laugh and your dumb face. Fucking got him. So they don't take extra damage when they're staggered, so there's no point trying to capitalize on that. May as well just make sure to stagger these guys. Swing stroke is a pain, and unfortunately, faint memories doesn't actually deal with it. And it often seems like the best way to deal with these guys is to, in fact, stagger them rather than fight them. All resistance has changed to fatal. Oh, so one stat. All right, yeah, I completely forgot about manifested minds. Jesus, that is very powerful. You hit him with automated movement. Follow up with Creek. I want you to go. I want you to swing hard this turn. Swing real hard. I'll deal with the other one. Faint memories. Follow up with combat prep. And throw down overcome crisis. Good, good, good. And now you can kind of spread your stuff out. Hit them. And hit them. And that's kind of all we can do. So let's see how we do. Almost perfect. In fact, yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> Same idea for both characters. It works quite well. Two staggers. Get Rex. Went very well. One of them's already gone. And they still have manifested minds, so you're fucked, I guess. Wingstroke, lame. What a loser. We'll have Lorelei focus on taking care of them. Because it'll... she will. Almost certainly. Although I might add something to that just to make sure. Because I'm actually less confident now that I've said that. Oh. Honestly, all your resistances are shit. Three overcome crises. 
We'll probably do it. Throw the sword. Overcome crisis. And then throw a little, um, overcome crisis over there just in case. Just to make sure. And then overcome crisis and, uh, overcome crisis. And, uh, redirect to... Oh, you, only you can... Okay, only you can do... Okay, I see only you can do it. Alright, well... Uh, repress flesh. That'll do. That'll do. Fucked. And now we can get to the phase that actually matters. The final phase. Unless we actually didn't kill him. Fucking hell. <laughs> I hate trying to figure out what the damage is going to be in this game, because it never fucking works out the way I think it will. Asterically literally has this. Just extreme edge and the fight will be over. He has 6 HP. There we go. Ah, well, now we don't get the uh, uh, combat preparation buffs. And you're using a mass attack. Fuck, you're annoying. Now, we are, we are quite well suited for dealing with a mass individual because we have, um, like, automated movement and stuff like that, which is quite good, but as I look at the numbers comparatively, it's feeling less good. Uh, hmm. All dice on this page gain plus two power, which is great, but that's not quite enough. Would probably block the first one, but I don't know about the rest of them. I can't risk trying to inter intercept other attacks with the um, mass attack blocking attack right now, because I'm just so not confident in these cards' abilities to actually do this. And Asterickly doesn't stand a fucking chance, so the best he can do is block one of them, the weakest one. But he will still get to do it. And Rickley is still well suited to dealing with these, uh, with these ranged attacks. Unfortunately, he can't hit the other ranged attack. Well, actually... Yeah, 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 I've got it, I've got it, because... That won't destroy... This... Because that will block one of the attacks, and then the other attacks will go through. It doesn't destroy the combat page. So, block that. And then it's good. And then actually just focus on doing as much damage as you can. Let's put him down quickly. Which is not really something this deck does, is put people down quickly, but... Doesn't mean we can't try, and it doesn't mean we shouldn't actually attempt to. Maybe. We'll just focus on overwhelming him with sheer numbers. Yes, that's what we'll do. Off a blockade, and then I've got something left. Hold on to learn, just use Overcome Crisis. We'll see how this goes. Went reasonably well. That went less good. That went a lot worse. But we're alive. And Rickley's doing his thing. Good. Excellent. Marvelous. Fuck you. Exactly as we planned it. Very good. That's roughly what I expected. Sadly, that failed. Ah, I got the extra stagger damage. You'll love to see it. That didn't go very well. <laughs> Big hit. Now he's burning alongside many other problems, and apparently he staggers himself after using his mass attack, so I guess we've won. Because he's not going to survive all of this, there's not a fucking chance. I'll do that, and then it's his final phase, which is a joke. Yes, victimize. Yes, we all feel very sorry for you, Pillip. Yes, we do. Yes, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely feel sorry for you. You're not a... Definitely not a screaming man-child. Definitely not. Nope. Not you, buddy. No fucking way. Couldn't be you. Couldn't be you. Oh, 
I would like to just literally press the button to auto attack, but really I should play this slightly more carefully just in case, because I could see him surviving another round if I don't do this manually. And I don't want him to survive another round, I want him to fucking die right now. See what I mean? He's got tricks up his sleeve. You crafty little bastard. There we go. There we go. And he staggered. And it's over. So, yeah, well, that performed quite well, actually. It performed better than the other deck we used against um, the Crying Children. Because in that one, we actually lost someone. And I think we were working with a full party. I can't remember if we were. But I'm pretty sure we were. I can't remember what that was now. Um... Shit. Oh, yeah, it was the... Oh, yes. No, that was the... Um, oh, what's it called? The Seven Association deck that we did, which was not really particularly good, as it were. It was just surprisingly effective. Okay, we've proven that this deck can handle late-game um, Urban Nightmare. Also proven it can handle late-game Urban Plague, but that was not really up for debate. Now I want to see if it can handle um, Star of the City. Because Demon Soul claims it can. Now, Demon's Soul claims that it can handle... Let's just make sure I'm getting this right. Tier 1 Star of the City. And that does make sense to me, looking at the situation. Right, I could see this working against some of these. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll really we will really test this. Right? They claim... Star of the City, they claim it works in Star of the City Tier 1, so let's see how that exactly that will go. So now we have, like, what, two more attribution to work with? Let's see what we can do. In preparation for taking on Star of the City, as I'm sure you guys probably guessed I was going to do, I gave Eugen's Page keeping in stride and double kick, because honestly that seems like a fantastic combination when considering the, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the focus on defense and evasion. Although, it's worth pointing out, it is worth pointing out, that, um... Ah, you wouldn't be able to get Thor gear in there. I thought it was a two-cost, not a three-cost. Yeah, no, I think this is the best thing for it. We'll see how that goes. Pleased with that. The Lorelei. Heavy-hearted Forte, so the Clashes do extra stagger. I think we're going to focus on trying to stagger people from this point onwards, especially with the defensive bonuses. Lane. Also has Heavy-hearted Forte and Grit. Just to focus on fighting for as long as possible. And asterisk, I went silly with this because um, singular strike builds do not survive if they are not at the tier at which they're supposed to be at. And any singular strike build before Star of the City is rough anyway. So I decided to go nuts with this. So the passive attributions, Mind Hauler, Health Hauler, Dark Cloud Blade, and Emergency Rations for all the healing. Then I went two draw of the swords, three clones, three burning flashes, and field mods. The idea being to intentionally have one less card in the deck and to clone the fuck out of burning flash and use it all day. And then draw of the swords to uh, heal. Heal. To get light. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, this is going to be a real test because we're still only going to be running with four people. Roland still can't join in. We don't have Ego. We can now use... I'm going to say we can now use Snow Queen's abnormality pages, but we still can't use um, the Silent Girls. So that's out. I wouldn't be surprised if this lost because we are going up against um, Blue Reverberation, and this is quite a tough one. But it, A, it would be pretty cool if it won. B, this will be a solid test. And C, I think it's possible. And it's distinctly possible that if I do fail, it comes more down to my own failings than... Um, you know, it just occurred to me. This is very annoying, but it just occurred to me. Lorelei is still using Walter's page, and Asterically still has Valentin's page. Lorelei's page should be... Yeah, no, I should perhaps make use of some of the better things I have at my disposal. Okay, well, I gave, um... I gave, uh, Asterically Mind Hauler, Health Hauler, and Corpse Cleanup so that they will never, ever, ever die. I guess. There are a lot of enemies in the coming battles, so they should heal quite a lot. The question is whether or not Burning Flash can take Vapor. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Even with um, Sword Play of the Homeland and Singular Strike, I don't think it's strong enough, but we'll see. For Lorelei, I went Emma's Page because there are quite a few blunt attacks and then threw in your shield, Hellfaller, and Liquefied Flesh. So it's near enough the same. Same cards. And everything else is near enough the same as far as I can tell. 
I think we, yeah, we went over lanes with Grit and Heavy Hearted Forte. This could work. It could also not work. I'm curious to see how it goes. But Demon's Soul did claim that this does work in um, early Star of the City, and this is early Star of the City. Goodbye, Roland. We don't need you. Let's see how this do. Fucking Church Gears worshippers are quite strong. I'm being reminded of how kind of strong they are, actually. We'll see. We'll see. And we are outnumbered as well. Faint memories would be a good start. Perhaps use it on someone who's being quick. That's an issue. Immediately. <laughs> That's an immediate issue. Okay, cool. Deal with that. An overcome crisis. I say we focus on taking someone down. That's probably going to be the best way to do things. Use field mods and draw of the sword. We can't use clone while field mods is in hand. And like, yeah, maybe it would be a cool idea to clone field mods, but of course, if I'm remembering correctly, the cost reduction that it applies to cards is used up once the card is used, so it would be a very short-term benefit to do that. So we're not doing that. We're, we're straight up not going to do that. Autonomous Rush. Creek should be able to take care of it. And then Autonomous Rush. Well, Lorelei did not draw well, but fuck it. And we'll once again, like I said, focus on killing this guy. Gonna need to draw some cards. First turn's gonna be rough. That was something. That was good. That went very fucking well. That went quite well. Hey, this foot, this turn actually didn't go too badly. Overall, actually went all right. I'm surprised. So, urging. So we're gonna kind of have to spam clone. Because I guess I'm assuming slash hoping that clone can't clone itself. And I guess if it does, it doesn't matter because we could just try again. You're going to need to use Clone twice to Clone Burning Flash, and then you can just go for it. But that does mean Asterikli may not really be able to contest this turn. Although, if Asterikli does take some damage, he's got a lot of sustained stuff, so he would actually be okay. You keep doing that, and that's fucking annoying. We'll just have Asterikli soak up some hits this turn. He'll be fine. Soul Order, huh? Well, I don't have any smoke, so it won't gain any extra power. Faint memories should deal with that. You're using Autonomous Rush. You counter it with combat prep, because we need to get that going. Autonom uh, auton automated movement, that. And then perhaps we could focus on killing that guy, like we were doing. Overcome Crisis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. The problem is, I'm probably not, I might not end up gaining some of these bonuses because I'm healing and not taking damage. But once I take damage, I'll start gaining the bonuses again. So it'll be okay. Things will work out. That was pretty good. And I took some damage, which helps keep me in the threshold I need to be in. That's fine. Very good. Exceptional. Beat his ass. Very good. Nice. Very good. Not unexpected. Land a hit. Nice. Go pale hands for me. So theoretically, this should absolutely deal with this. And then we use clone to follow up. I'm not particularly familiar with how Clone and Burning Flash apply their effects and what timing, so I may well end up fucking that up, but... Uh, I just realized there's someone else we might want to use that on, because... Yeah, Burning Flash is our best card. <laughs> best singular card, which is not good, but hey. Defense Order. Chuck an automated movement at that. Another Vapor. This is when it gets tricky. It's when they start spamming Vapor. Because... We have 
we may have means for dealing with one, but several? I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm not going to beat Vapor. But it might be worth taking the damage just to make sure I'm getting these, these effects. Go for it. So that needs to be dealt with. Repressed Flesh will do it. And another Vapor. <laughs> Puppet Blockade. And then Combat Prep. You're going to need more cards. All right, we'll see how this goes. That did not work, but you did counter hit, so it's fine. I didn't know I set that to happen. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that really didn't work. Okay, cool, cool. Good, good, good. God, I hate Vapor so much. So you just got a fuck ton of burning flashes now. And you failed to beat Vapor before, so it's probably not going to work this time, is it? You're definitely a low enough health that you're gaining your benefits now. Faint memories. The only problem with a Soul Order is that it's an effective counter to um, the strength of Faint Memories. Though we do still get clashes, so it's not the end of the world. You can't do it anyway. Okay, well, that's all you're doing this turn. Soul Order. Press Flesh, I suppose. And, um... Oh, ask strictly, buddy. Um, you're gonna have a rough turn. Again. Creek that. That's all of their attacks. Okay. Overcome Crisis. I can't do anything. Overcome Crisis. Let's see if we can kill them. Go for it. Good. Exceptional. That's what we needed. We needed the health back. That's unfortunate, but you hit back good. But uh, Rickley can't take too many more of those. If we kill someone, that will help him. Big hit. Good. We didn't kill anyone, though, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> it really is. Learning. Give learning to Rickley. Now he can learn Vapor. And just in time as well. Unfortunately, you can't intercept that. Frustrating. Very frustrating. Burning Flash it is, then. That will do it. And then draw of the sword, them. And you will almost definitely kill them. Autonomous Rush. We just don't really... We don't have a counter... Well, we do have a counter for Vapor, but it's not going to work this turn, which is very frustrating. That can be dealt with. That's a faint memories job. I'm the only one who can contend with Vapor, and that's not going to end well. If we had a bunch of combat prepper... Ah, uh, fuck it. Just take the loss and buff ourselves next turn. Fuck it. Fuck it. Already decided. Chuck them that to make sure they actually... Well, actually, no, you don't need to do that because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Lane will just kill them, probably. Freak that. Let's make sure they die because it would actually be really beneficial to Rickley if they died. And then start picking on a new target, then. Very good. We need those heals. We really do. Things are about to get problematic. Ow. That's not good. See, it's a good thing we did focus on them a little bit. They're not even dead, I don't think. There we go. They did die. Good. Rickley did get healing. Okay, good. All right, that's something. Any vapors? All right. Oh, there's two vapors. Fuck. Well, we can contend with one of them. Don't know if it'll even work, but we can try. I want to punish you for doing this. Just try and mitigate the damage. Just, just do your best. Just do your best. Just do your best. And then faint memory stat for the free health. 
nothing else doing this turn. Um, Overcome Crisis them, they'll die. You shouldn't. We'll throw another one at them just in case you stagger, and then they will stagger, so... Your automated movement and puppet blockade. Good. You can't do anything else. Okay, should be fine. Good. The healing. The healing is needed. Yikes. It's fine. Theoretically, two of them should die this turn. That was perfect. Down. There you go. And Rickley's getting his health back. Big hits. All right. Well, it's not terrible. It's not going terribly. But I do wonder if we're going to be able to take on Argalia like this. Uh, I do love this track, though. It's very good. Yeah. Sorry. Gonna need to try and focus on getting health back for me. Um, Rickley could do a bit as well. Should be fine. Ah, that's a good start. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. I wanted to get those heals in before the fight ended. There we go. And a little bit of healing for Rickley too. Uh, this next fight is uh, going to be bad. This next fight is going to be real bad. Don't know how we're going to win this one. Especially without Ego Pages. Yeah, I don't really know how we're going to win this because we struggled a bit. Not bringing Roland. But, to be fair, this is stuff that's... I mean, I think Asterikli is the only one who's really running a deck that is like Star of the City level. Whereas Eugen is not Star of the City level, and this is one of the toughest fights in Star of the City. And it's doing very well. Now, could it clash with uh, Argalia? I'm not so sure. Not because of the, um, the stats necessarily, but because the cards just don't really suit this. Typically going up against, like, initial defensive die followed by attacks, which does not suit Faint Memories very well. Oh, you need to do this shit again, don't you? Fuck, that's a problem. Oh god, and you might clone Learn instead. And they're already using Vapor. And you can't intercept it. Lorelei's gonna have to tank that Vapor, there's no two ways about it. Combat prep that, we're gonna need those defensive bonuses. In fact, combat prep both, because we're gonna need the defensive bonuses. Lorelei's just gonna have to take a few hits. That's all there is to it. Now, Lane isn't being hit by anyone. Which provides with an opportunity to get people in the sides. Mostly to deal with Argalia's shit, to be honest, but also we're gonna want to hit these guys in the sides. We need them dead. Their continued existence causes us many problems. I'm better suited to dealing with Autonomous Rush. But to be fair, I can deal with both. I guess that's the way that'll have to be for now. Good. Good. Getting the stuff we need. And dealing damage. And winning clashes does still heal, so it's fine. That worked out well. That was fine. That was fine. You guys are doing great. One hit in return. You guys did fantastically. I'm extremely impressed. Big hits. Fucking amazing. Can't underestimate these defensive builds. So you're throwing out Preludio, and we need to make sure you don't do that. Um, and we can't stop you from doing that. Uh, actually, we can. We do have automated movements counter die. Combined with the plus four to um, defensive die, with all the bonuses, it should be okay. You cloned Learn, you did the thing I really didn't want you to do, but we can make use of it. Yeah, we can. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that would be a really good one to fucking learn. <laughs> it would. You're not fast enough. Whatever. I don't even care. I care immensely. I'm extremely bothered. Draw the sword. So you're trying to hit me with Preludio. Automated movement should take care of that, really. Whether or not it does is anyone's guess, but it should. And then I need to overcome Crisis, because I need cards, desperately. 
you have to deal with Trails of Blue, and that sucks, but you are gaining a lot of... a lot of endurance, so I think Repressed Flesh might actually do that. Nope, wrong thing. This. We can't do anything about that. No one's fast enough. You can at least deal with this. I would fucking hope so. With your bonuses, that should be fine. And then focus on hitting people in the sides. We are going to need more combat prep. We always need more combat prep. So get that going. Get it going. That went perfectly. What a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. It's... It's the for matchup I always wanted, which is me outclassing Argalia. It's what I tried to set up so long ago. And now it's actually happening. Wrecked. We're making it work. We're making it work. Forcing it to work, even. That worked out well. Staggered. We can start picking these guys off one by one. Shouldn't be too difficult. And Argalia's just on his own. I can't remember, is he immune to immobilization? No. I'm actually going to give my character the kiss, because this doesn't matter. Because those, um, those evade die work really well with this, because it's multiple clashes won with a single combat page, and that's exactly what um, evade die do. That is their whole thing. You're being scary. I wish you wouldn't. Well, I presume... I guess I can deal with Prelude Preludio, and you're doing Autonomous Rush. And Agalia's probably going to be here for a while, so hitting him with Ice Splinters would be quite good. Hit him with Burning Flash, and then hit them with Clone. You still have to deal with Scout. Combat Preparation might do the trick. We'll see. Make sure they die. Assault order. You're not gaining um, power bonuses anymore. Might be worth trying to get Lane to deal with that because he's got a few more tricks up his sleeve. Oh, God, I forgot about you. Fuck it. Oh, you can't. Oh, fuck it then. Just hit him. He'll probably lose, but whatever. Ah, oh, but the ah, oh, but that works on hits, not on. Fuck it, fuck it, just fu whatever, just fucking. Ah, uh, you're not gonna hit him with it. There we go. Ensure you hit him with it. At least make sure it happened. If my turn goes poorly, then I might just straight up die. That is possible. So scout. I reckon Creek can do it. So order. You're just gonna have to take it, Lorelei. We need to. We have to. I don't even know what I'm referring to, but we have to. We're at max um, emotion now, so we're not getting light back on our own. Which means it's even more important that Overcome Crisis actually hits someone. And you're not doing anything else. Well, let's see. Good. Good. Dealt with him. Perfect. He's got two high splinters already. Rex. Perfect. These things are going quite well. Big hits. Stagger deflect. He's in trouble now. Yes, he is. That was a lot of damage. And he's dead. One is done. Good. Getting everything we need. This is working way better than I hoped. And while these guys are all performing very well, this Eugen deck is doing very well. It's actually doing everything I could want it to. You're using a mass attack. You fucker. None of us have a four attack card. No one. I think automated movement is my best chance. I don't see it working straight up, but it is my best chance. And oh my god, Lorelei is not going to be able to deal with this at all. But fuck it. You know what you should do, Lorelei? You should spam combat preparation. The next turn we'll have all the defensive die ever. Is that a good idea? No. 
obviously. But that's all we got. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. I did block one. I blocked two. I blocked three. That wasn't nearly as impressive as you thought it would be, sir. And what that means is that you're a nerd. Big hit. Big hit dead. That went quite well. You're staggered and severely wounded and dead soon. That went amazingly. Don't be dramatic. You didn't win that good. Didn't even do that much damage. Unfortunate, but yeah, Asterikli's going to need to start winning some clashes. Uh, he's in trouble. At least you're not throwing out another mass attack. But me and Lorelei have like no light, which is a problem. You've got learn. That's not helpful. And you still can't... I okay, you could intercept trails of blue. But if you lose this, you will die. So... Take that into consideration. You're using vapors. I wish you wouldn't fucking do that. We've got plus six defensive die and nothing to do with it. <laughs> that needs to be contested. Lane, you take less damage from attacks. I need you to suck that up. Lorelei, I need you to just cope. I need you to cope. I need you to cope. And I will at least, at the very least, make sure this person dies. And then we will focus on making sure this person dies. And then if all of us are fighting our Galia, we should be okay. Down they go. It's a start. Yeah, that's about right. That's good. That's fine. That was close. Very little damage, and you hit him, in, you hit him back. Ah! That's more like it. Good job, Rickley. Now, unfortunately, Lane is staggered. But we can still work around it. As long as you're not using mass attacks, you're not. Okay, good. We can, we can counter Trails Blue, but... He's always do he always does it with his faster die, which means Rickley can't use Learn. Which would be the perfect thing to counter it with. That literally can't be countered by us this turn. We can hope for automated movement to give us some something good, but... I do have the blood, so it would gain power, but would it gain enough? I don't know. Also, you know what just occurred to me? I don't think he gets affected by, um... He doesn't get affected by Trails of Blue. Which is wildly bullshit. He should absolutely be affected by that. Why are you on a... But... You didn't get hit by it. You won. On use, yeah. Not on hit. On use. So you should... Oh, actually, does Learn... Does Learn copy the effects? No, it just copies the die. Oh, how annoying. Ugh. Well, if Rickley gets involved with that, he will die. Straight up. He can't take that. Lorelei. Uh, I'm going to need you to take some hits. This is a bad scene. Straight up. All right. Faint memories. Faint memories. Focus on deep giving him some problems. Overcome crisis them. I literally can't do anything but take that hit. Oh, that's why I should use repressed flesh, right. To get that counter die. Because I could just use a block die. Maybe just use the block die, actually. I don't think the evade die would really do it anyway, so... Yeah, nah, we'll just do it this way. Okay, yep, nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Lorelai, you only need to take one hit. 
Just one. No, we may as well... I fear you'll stagger if you try and do that. Fuck it. Let's try and get those defensive bonuses. We need to clash with that or um, Lane will die and that won't help us. But how many hits can Lorelei take? It's just another fucking hit. All right, look. Let's make sure Lorelei wins that at the very least. You're going to eat this hit regardless and it's going to suck. So, I don't know, draw a page. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Ah. Oh. Mmm. And all Ass Rickley can really do is draw of the sword, because there's no point using Burning Flash right now. It's not going to do much. Okay. Well, that didn't do very much at all, so that's okay. There we go. You got some health back. God, that did not go well. Oh, everything's just going poorly because we're not getting any of our power bonuses. At least we hit him. Oh, wow, we did real. Oh, we did so much that turn. Oh, wow, how, how could he even expect to win now after we did so much? Trails are fucking blue. Maybe try and get one of those out before you die. And then if you do survive this turn somehow, um, you hit him. I'm taking a hit, that's inevitable, but I can't use attacks or I will bleed out. So I'm just going to rely on my block die to deal with that. I don't know what I'm going to do about Trails of Blue. I truly don't. I actually think 5 to 8. 3 to 7. Creek is our best chance to counter that. And if it doesn't work, they're dead. End of story. If you survive all of that, swing at them. Okay, good. Ow, I was staggered. That's not good. Hey, that was good. Hey, that was something. That's fucking bad. That's also bad. Oh, well, they're dead. Oh. All of us staggered. Okay, well, this fight's over. Oh, and you, you yeah, how pro fucking shit. Wow. You can't say you didn't end it with style. Yeah, very good, Argal. Yeah, well done. I remembered why I was happy when you died. Now, I'm willing to chalk my failure there, perhaps up to my own gameplay. I'm sure I made many mistakes. Whatever. I actually don't fucking care. Um, yeah, I lost books. I don't care. Oh, we gained a bunch of books, though. Uh, but... Oh, Precious Family. That's pretty cool. But that fought quite well. Like, I honestly think that did really well. Considering um, the Eugen, this Eugen deck was punching above its weight, literally, like, that's far beyond what it should be dealing with. That's actually a really cool look. Um, yeah, despite the fact that this punched way above its weight, it did well. It actually contested with Argalia very well. The Argalia fight is a very specific one, too. Your standard strategies that you would use for most fights don't always necessarily work with Argalia. They can do, I'm sure, but... It's a little bit different, and he does fuck with your deck in many ways, like at nullifying power bonuses and stuff like that. On top of that, we were using a floor where we weren't really using our... I mean, we had access to Abno pages and they were decent, but we weren't using Ego, for instance. We didn't touch Ego. And we were outnumbered. Because you can go into that fight with five people, and we used four. And despite that, we did well. Like, I think if a couple of those rolls went in a different direction, we probably would have won. As for these decks, uh, Lorelei's is fine, but could probably do with a, eh, a little bit more work, I guess. The combat prep spamming is a good strategy. I honestly don't think I spammed combat prep enough, and that kind of contributed to some of our failings, but I could probably do with refining this a bit more. Lane's was fine, but there's a very there's a very hard upper limit to um, blunt decks around this point. And once you reach it, you need really need to think about doing something else. At least that's what I noticed when I did it. Take that with a grain of salt. This was fun. This worked quite well. Um, I think putting all of his passive attribution into restoring health might have been a mistake and probably should have fo got rid of corpse cleanup and focused a bit more on power. Or just had corpse cleanup, had corpse cleanup, mind hauler, and then something else maybe to help him fight or something or to make him more durable or whatever. But this works quite well. This clone stuff is pretty cool. I love Burning Flash and I love Singular Strike. I think field mods might have been a mistake. I don't think that needed to be in there. 
Really, we would want everything in our deck, in this deck, to cost less than Burning Flash to make sure it can be used at any given time. The focus for today was, in fact, this Eugen deck, and I have to say, I liked it quite a lot. Especially when we implemented, um... Uh, what's it called? Keeping in stride and double kick so that I love that combination of every time you evade an attack you deal damage and heal health. I think that's really fun. Um, combined with uh, Ice Splinter and it's actually pretty decent for general works. It's unfortunate that by the time we got Ice Splinter we like we got him to two fucking Ice Splinters and then stopped being able to um, you know, win clashes against him because of how things went. To the point where Blizzard may have been a better idea, but I was worried that would kind of kill our momentum because we had defensive buffs going and stuff like that at the time. Hard to say. But this deck, good. I like it. I like it quite a lot. And you can do it, like... Yeah, down here. Mainly just get rid of these guys. Remind myself what it uses. Sweepers, yeah. So sweepers and um, shear, which means all you need to use to make this deck is to beat that and that. And then you've got a deck that can take you up to here, which is quite good, actually. That's solid. I rate this deck. I think it's quite good. I'm quite happy with it. I wonder if perhaps um, maybe not giving this deck, if I had to offer some kind of, I don't know, personal opinion on how it could be improved. Maybe don't have combat prep because it doesn't work very well for ha for this deck in terms of like its strengths. And yes, obviously the providing endurance thing is great, but I think you'd be better off having someone dedicated to that role rather than trying to get um, the Eugen deck to do it. But of course, you know, if you didn't want someone to be dedicated to this role, then it would make sense to have it in here. But barring that, I'm just trying to think, like, what, what what could actually work? What would be better? Like, Mannequin would be quite effective with the buffs given. Of course, we're still... I'm making these suggestions on the understanding that we're still sticking with Urban Nightmare. Kind of tier one Urban Nightmare as well, actually. Because you can add smoke to practically anything to make it powerful, but that's not in tier one of Urban Nightmare. If we go back down here to, like... Nah, Wrath of Torment, nah, that wouldn't really work very well. So you might be able to use this to make Feather Shield quite effective. Because you could practically guarantee that those, um, those die will win. You'll inflict two burn with each one, inflict stag damage. On the later versions of this, you would also deal one normal damage and restore health from it for each one. That, that, that slash die is fucking garbage, but it's a thought. Scattering Slash could be good. Could. There's emphasis on could. Going by my very limited experiences and understanding of the game compared to all of you and your brilliant, brilliant minds, um, I think the best thing to replace it be with would be Mannequin straight up. Just have something strong, as it were. Very strong defensively. Um, but that's just me. Let me know what you think. But ladies and gentlemen, we are done for the day. I'm sorry I fought Love Town. I didn't need to do that. I fucked up. I made a mistake. We all know I do this. We all know I do this a lot. But we did manage to um, test this deck in the up highest echelon of Urban Nightmare, uh, upper echelons of Star of the City, and then the hardest low tier fight in Star of the City. I'm in Urban Nightmare here. The hardest low tier fight in Star of the City. And I think it performed very well. Let me know what you think, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Teacup of Doom, Beep, Adash Sanjeev, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, MB Alias, Lord Skullington, Jesse Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K-Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Swirled, Jean Miguel Joy, Wamasoku, SCP 106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. This was good. I like this. This was some solid fighting and it was some in some battles that like, yeah, I've done, um, I did do the Crying Children recently for a different deck, but it still feels good to go back. And playing Love Town again was actually really fun, even though I wasn't supposed to do that. It was still enjoyable. 
And, um, yeah, fighting Argalia again was a fucking headache, which is exactly what I was expecting. And playing with some of these old cards again is enjoyable as well. These old key pages, too. And being forced to consider them is actually quite enjoyable. I'd like to try and use perhaps some more of these old cards that just never really got used. Or I never really went with. Like, you know, Bizarre Attack, Opportunity Spotted. Like... There's plenty of stuff here to play with that I just barely touched, and I would like to look into these a bit more, I think. I used a lot of this stuff because there's a lot of good stuff here, but like, go back here and... I mean, Strong Strike is pointless, but... There might be stuff that can be played with, and I'd be interested in having a look, but... I don't know, I'll try and come up with something interesting for next time. Please make sure to submit your submissions in the comments and on the Discord. And whatever happens next time, and I'll come up with something, I suppose. I don't know. We'll see. But whatever happens, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.